What's up guys, this is Shirt Talking, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's talk about the new event called Voice of the Ancient Blade. Here we have 10 different stages, only the last one has the highest HP cap for status farming, that being 2060. The same as the boss stages from Conquest. So it's actually good to farm here, but there's one problem. You won't have all styles with increased status gains. So let me tell you, use the uh, booster packs that you give to the characters so that they have one hour of increased status gain. So this will fix this problem. Here we have to fight against this enemy called Sword Demon. And it's weak to Slash and Blunt. This is good news because we do have plenty of nukers for those two things. Uh, this event is dropping only rainbow materials for staff because Rock Bouquet is back because of the rerun better. It also drops different materials to craft a uh, double S weapon that's based on Minstrel's song, Remaster. So, well, this weapon is not that important, but I do believe it's good to upgrade, but we'll talk about this later. Okay, so uh, we can use many different characters for this, but since the enemy is weak to both Blunt and Slash, the best one here is Rofus. Yeah, I'm using the Remembrance gun, and he has Gun and Blade that deals Blunt and then Slash. Another very good character that's also very old is Rook. Rook has hammer roll, hits two times with blunt, and damage is pretty high, it's just one wave, they work super well. Let's run. So the only problem with running those two is that you would need Rainbow Rangers formation, and someone in the agility position may attack. So you can actually train skills with the agility slot. I will be doing this later. I just placed Nirza here because I didn't want someone to attack. I just want to prove that those two together will kill the enemy by themselves. Of course, I'm using the Remembrance gun with Rofus and an 80% weapon with Rook. Another character works pretty well with Rofus is firstly, well, I have his max dexterity for the current game, 200. So I play it a little bit him and then Rufus as well. He has 200 now after some training. So Rufus with the Remembrance Gun, Leon with the Forged Weapon. In his case, they have a perfect one, the Exploder with the Wind Element, but you don't need to use the Wind Element anyway. But when you reach max status, those two will be able to, well, carry the whole fight. Well, here it does not matter who goes first. Deadly Pierce Axe Formation, so it increases the action order as well. The boss won't even attack. When we do uh, Leon first, he debuffs Andron, so you're gonna do a little more damage with Rufus, but you didn't need that. Now another strategy that works is Hurricane with a strong starter. That will be either Soto or Global Axe Doll because both will increase the damage potential of the following units. And then uh, the following unit will be Silver. She is very strong here because you will get both Agility and STR, but there's a trick. You have to inherit Acrobatic Thunder from her Halloween style. And you will only be able to clear with those two characters if you have a maxed Remembrance Martial Arts weapon. I don't have that one yet, so I need help with a third character doing a little damage. But this is a very interesting setup, and if you don't have Silver, bring the newest Albert as well. I don't have him, but he is so strong here that he deals the same amount of damage as Rofus. Socho increases damage potential, just like Global X Doll. Silver will do a little more damage just because of that. But like I said, still not enough because I don't have a Max Remembrance weapon. Yeah, it's pretty close though. Well, my training is a very bad one, so hence why I needed a 4 character. Now for the last strategy, we will use Amazon Red Axe formation, and Young Gustav is a very strong character with his triple crush. But you know who does even more damage? The newest Albert that I don't have. But if you, like me, don't have him, you can pair Gustave with someone like Global Axe Arpina, inheriting Crossbreak. If you're gonna bring her, you can even place her on the front line because she's gonna apply defense down. And then you have also Madeline with Luna Fugur inherited. She also buffs slash damage, so this actually helps as well. So I reverted Gustav to the front line because I want to show you how much damage he does by himself. His weapon has 102% uh, power, so yes, he's very strong. He deals around 50% of Sword Demon HP. And then, well, either uh, Urpina or 
meddling, you get the boss to around 10 to 15% HP. And then you can bring three trainees, some of them will kill the boss. You don't really need to bring these three characters if you have them leveled up and fully trained. Okay, now we need to talk about the shop of the event. We have this bronze material that is needed to upgrade the Palkata to become the Demon Brand. This is the event weapon. So you have to purchase, you only have one here, pretty cheap. Uh, then you have to purchase it again for three. And then you have to purchase this Rosalian steel. All of this will be used to craft the weapon. Now, so third item. Why do you need to purchase so many stuff? Because it's just like that in the Minstrel Song game. So they are replicating that inside Wii Universe. Oh my god. So many items to purchase. Meteoric item. <laughs> when will this end? Mulok. I guess this one is the last. Yes, and there's also the Platinum Pickaxe in this event. Uh, it will allow you to get a new Master Stone. Now you go to the Forge menu and you can filter by Greatsword to easily find it. It should be on the end, this Rusty Falcata. Now you select one tap and hints. You use all the materials. Okay, let's click. And there you have it, the Demon Brand with STR+. Plus. Now that we forged the Demon Brand, let's discuss when this weapon becomes stronger than forged weapons. It will depend on the character that you are using. In this example, I'll be using Halloween Silver, and I'll explain why. First, I have a forged weapon with 99% damage for single foe attacks. Well, I'll be using a single foe attack, that means that it will be on max potential. And this weapon has 35 weapon power. Forged weapons have lower weapon power than double S weapons. In the case, Demon Brand has 46 weapon power, a little extra STR. This is gonna change and make this skill called Acrobatic Thunder do more damage, because this skill hits four times with slash and lightning damage. But the power of each hit is low, only D. When you use a skill, the final damage is a combination of the weapon power from the weapon and the skill power from the skill. So, if your weapon power is pretty high, even if you only have 60% damage increase from the Master Stone, you still do more damage. So, I will showcase first the full damage output with the Forged Weapon and we'll see the final results. So first run, Forged Weapon, I have the same setup with Sochu in the back, he's going to buff damage, and then, look on each hit, we will get around 63,000, 64,000. Now let's go back and change the weapon for the Demon Brand. Okay, so now we are using the Demon Brand, and we'll be doing around 10% more damage. Acrobatic Thunder will hit for close to 70,000. We were doing 64, 10% increase. So, just know that double S weapons with Master Stones can do more damage with skills that have multiple hits by using skills with double S, triple S, 4S power. No, you will get more damage by using a Forged Weapon. But that's about it, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you want to support the channel, there are links in the description. Hope to see you soon in the next video or live stream. Bye.